Welcome to DIY Golf Cart. Today we'll be installing a lift kit for 2001 and up EasyGo TXT. Uh, the lift number is lift 102 and you can find this lift in our store. We'll start with the first step. Alright, before doing anything with putting the lift on, what you'll need to do first is take your tow maintenance switch out of the run position and put it into the tow maintenance position. You'll be able to flip that switch back into the run position when you've installed the lift kit completely on your cart. All right, before jacking the golf cart up, we first want to apply the parking brake to make sure it doesn't move during the install process. We'll walk right over here to the front, grab a jack, and jack it up. We need to jack it up enough to accommodate for the larger tires. So I would say about maybe a foot off the ground. We're gonna be as precautious as possible by installing some jack stands underneath the frame of the cart just in case the front jack fails. At first we're going to remove the wheel covers off the 8 inch wheels. Now we can take just a flathead screwdriver, pry it behind the wheel cover and kind of twist and the cover will pop off like so. Once we've done this, we'll grab a 3 quarter inch socket. Like I said, you can either use air tools or hand tools. We just choose to use air, it goes by a little quicker. Alright, this is very important to make sure that you're installing the correct kit. This Lift 102, which we're installing today, will be used on carts with the steering box mounted to the front axle. Uh, if, if your steering box is mounted up underneath the front cowl, you'll need to get Lift 103. Alright, our next step, we're going to have to remove the uh, tie rod from the spindle itself. Now, it'll take a 5 8 open end socket like that, <laughs> remove it off. And then the best way i found to drop this is just grab a big mallet hammer and hit the spindle. And it just drops right off. Alright, once we remove the tie rod from the driver's side, let's we'll do the same to the passenger side. The reason we're showing you these steps is this not only has the tie rod connected to it, but this spindle also has the steering box. So we do that, hit it with the hammer. pops off like so. And then our next step will be to remove this pin. So we're going to have to put that up. And then wiggle the pin out. Grab a 11 16 socket. And remove the nut off there. Right, once we remove the nuts, what you're going to want to do is you want to save these nuts. So just put them on the on the parts because we're going to have to use these for the new spindles we'll be installing. Now in order to get this tie rod off the, from the steering box off of the spindle, get one of these pitchfork looking things here, hit it with the hammer, and it pops right off. Once we remove the tie rods from either side of the cart, we'll now have to take the hubs off of the spindles. Now we're going to reuse these hubs on the new spindles we're using, so grab a flat end screwdriver hit the grease cap off of the hammer and move right along to the next step. Now as you can tell here, we're going to need to take this pin out and then take the nut off of the inside. So we'll grab a set of pliers. Alright, once we've got the pin removed, which we'll need to save that pin, we grab a set of pliers here and take this nut that's holding the hub to the spindle. Once we've got the nut removed, we'll just slide this, the hub directly off the spindle like that. Alright, once the hub's removed, we'll now need to remove the spindle off of the front axle. So using a 3 quarters inch on your front and your bottom, just remove this pin pen bolt slide the spindle out just like that. 
All right, once we remove the spindle from the axle here, we'll grab the new spindle out of the box. Now one thing that's great about these spindles, they're all cast from one solid piece of steel. It's black powder coated, it's got all the durability and strength you need to last you for years down the road. So what we'll do here is we'll take the kingpin tube out of the old spindle, grab the grease gun, gun here, put some grease just all over this kingpin tube. I mean, this is pretty messy, but it's something you really have to do. So once we got that all greased up, all nice and greasy, we're going to slide it right through the other spindle here. Now we'll take this washer that came off the old spindle, put it on the top, and slide it right into the axle. And then grab our kingpin bolt, throw it straight through just like that. Now you might want to clean up a little bit of this grease over here. As you can tell, it's all over my hands. Alright, once we put the kingpin bolt through the new spindle, we'll grab the hub. I'm going to throw some grease around the bearing here. Drop it back down into the hub. And also put a little bit of grease around there as well. Then we'll slide the new hub on the spindle. Grab the nut. Put it on there like so. And tighten it down with a set of pliers. Then you grab the pin. You gotta kind of locate the hole where the nut is. Put the pin in, tap it into place with the hammer. Alright, once we got that pin into place like that, I'm gonna grab the cover, I'm gonna grab a rubber mallet hammer. You don't want to ding this cover too much. And knock it back into place. Now you're gonna to want to do the same thing to the other side. We're not gonna show it to you in the video. But do that to the other side, and then we'll go and put, it, put the tires on. Alright, once we've got the cap on here, we're going to locate the tie rod that goes to the other side. We're going to put it directly through the hole here. Put the nut on top. And for now, we're just going to leave that loose as we'll tighten it up once we get the other side on. Alright, now we need to install the tie rods and the steering tie rod to the spindle on the passenger side of the cart. So we'll place these in like so. Put them down. Put the nut on the bottom. And run our pin through. We can tighten everything into place and then we'll move on to putting the tires on. So we'll this. Tighten everything down, this nut, this nut, and then the bolt that's holding the king pin here for the spindle. Then we'll move on to the tires. Alright, once we've got everything tightened up, down, um, tie rod linkages, the spindle bolts, everything with the hubs, you know, the entire front end's tightened down, our next step would be to install our new tires and wheels. Now what we have here is a 14 inch, it's a rocks polished wheel, and it, it's wrapped around a 22 inch tire. So uh, what we're going to do is install these wheels on this cart. Of course, we sell these wheels as well in our store. All of our tire and wheel combinations come pre-mounted, so they're delivered to your door. We also include center caps and lug nuts. So here we go. I'm going to install these lug nuts on this wheel here. Once we get all these on, we'll just tighten them all down and put the other wheel on the other side. We'll go to the back of the golf cart and install the rear lift kit. Alright, once we've got the tires installed on the front of the cart, we're going to remove the jack stands from the rear. Lower the cart down. 
And then take a look at it from the front because these tires, when you're putting these spindles on, will sometimes change the alignment of the front end. So if that does happen, what you need to do is drop the tie rod in that goes from one spindle to the other one and loosen it up or tighten it to, uh, to you know, play with the front wheels. Once we've installed the tires on the front of the cart, we're going to need to hold the cart in position while we put the lift kit on the rear. So we've kind of put a piece of wood here underneath the front tire, and then of course the other tire is being blocked by the wall. So now we're going to walk around here to our jack and start jacking it up right at the bumper. Alright, once we've got it jacked up all the way, we're going to grab our jack stands and we're going to place them underneath the axle tube on either side of the axle. Alright, once we've got the cart secure there, got the jack stands underneath the axle tube, we're going to need to take off the tires on both sides of the, of the rear end. So what we're going to do is grab that same flathead screwdriver we had earlier, kind of mash it in between the wheel and the hub cap, grab a three quarters inch socket, and take the wheel right off. Alright, our next step, we're going to need to remove the clevis pin that's holding the brake cable to the backing of the rear drum. So we'll just take some pliers like this. And we'll grab it, grab it right out of there. We want to save this clevis pin and this other pin, so we're going to need to reinstall this later on. Alright, once we've got the clevis pin out, our next step is to remove this C-clip. Now the C-clip is attached what holds the brake line in place. You're going to want to save that and then slide the brake cable out of the backing plate. Now do the same task to the other side and then we'll move on to the next step in the video. The next step is pretty important. Before we remove the U-bolts that are holding the springs to the rear axle, we're going to need to support the frame of the golf cart and not just the axle. We've already got the supports for the uh, for the axle down there, and now we're just going to grab a piece of wood, put it right up underneath the bumper like so, and just support it. We don't need to jack it up, we're just supporting the frame. The axle's already being supported by the floor, floor stands. Alright, once we've got the jack stand supporting the rear axle, we've got the jack itself supporting the frame of the golf cart. Our next step will be the removal of the U-bolts. Now we'll discard these U-bolts as we've got other ones in the kit that we'll be using. So we take a 9 16 open end socket wrench and start removing these U-bolts. Alright, once we've removed the U-bolts from both sides of this side of the axle, we'll do the same task to the other side. Once we remove the U-bolts supporting the the rear springs from the axle will next take a 9 16 socket and remove the shocks from the shock plate. You'll want to pull the shock out just like so. And save the hardware, and the easiest way to do that is just to put it back on it. Next up, we're going to move over here to the shackles, grab a 9 16 open end wrench and a 9 16 socket. We're going to remove these. Move the nut from there like so, which drops the rear spring. And we're going to do the same to the back side here. This is a three quarter inch bolt, and nine sixteenths. All right. Once we remove the springs from either side of the cart, our next step is going to be to jack it up to accommodate the new lift brackets. So we're going to raise this cart up. 
I'd say about five or six inches. All right, once we got the body of the cart high enough and the rear axle low enough, we'll take our rear spring, we're gonna set it over the axle. What we need to do is we need to put this front bolt back in. All right, we just had to uh, lower these jack stands a little bit to accommodate the block that will be resting up underneath the spring. Now what's very important is if you see this hole in the middle, this hole needs to be, this nut needs to be inside of that hole when the block's put into place. So what we'll do is we'll grab the block here, put it up underneath the axle, make sure that nut's in place and securely like it is right there. Grab our axle plate, this will be the one with the curvature going to the top. Then make sure this hole is over this nut. And I don't know how long these bolts are, but they're pretty long. Uh, grab a washer, throw it in on there. These bolts are provided in the kit. Run it through just like so. Put a washer on the end. I'm going to put a nut on the other end. Whoops. And do the same task with the other bolts. Alright, now once we got all these bolts here nice and hand tightened, we're going to remove the shock and the bushing. Put the shock back down in the hole, the new shock plate. And that will finish up this side of the cart. All right, once we've got the brackets installed on both sides, hand tight, now we can make sure that all the alignment in these holes is correct. Then we can just tighten everything up, and then our next step will be installing the brake cables and putting the tires and wheels on. So we'll take a 5 inch socket, 5 8 socket to the bottom, and the 9 16 to the top. And we recommend just kind of doing it diagonally. So what you want to do is tighten this bolt, then tighten the other one that's across from it. All right. Once we got all four of these bolts tightened up, our next step will just be to tighten up the shock bolt. And then make sure all of the, the brackets on the shackles are tight. Alright, that about does it for that step. Alright, and the next step, what we're going to need to do is lift up the seat bottom and uh, locate this zip tie here that's attached to the brake cable. You want to cut that zip tie and pull the brake cable through. Once you pull the brake cable through, you're going to want to pass it back through up underneath where you just cut it off of that bracket. Alright, once we cut the brake cable loose from the frame of the cart, we're going to slide it back through here and take the C-clips that we took off in the initial steps of the video and pop them right back into place. just like so. And then we're going to take the clip here with the cotter pin, place it through. And once we're done with this side, we'll go on and do the same step to the other side. Now the other side there's a, you can notice the brake line is connected to the frame at the middle right where the battery pack is. So what you're going to need to do is you're just going to need to loosen that bolt, which is a 3 8 bolt. We're going to drop that brake cable so that we can install it on the other side of the cart. Last and final step is to install the tires. So we'll just put those on there like so. Do this on both sides. And then we'll be ready to enjoy 
the new look and new feel of our EasyGo TXT golf cart. This style lift kit will work in all terrains.